Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use Hydra AI. In order to do so, here we are at Hydra.com and we're all logged in. And he, we'll just take a look here at a few things on this page. So up here, you can see where it says video and image and then library. So in the library, this is where you're going to find all your completed projects. Image. You can actually create images with Hydra now, which is really quite nice. You could do it before, but they have recently updated their platform so that you can uh, more easily create images and it uses the Flux model. So that's really quite nice. But the majority of what you might be using is on the video page. And here is what you're going to be doing. So first off, we have our different models. So it's going to default to the Hedra character three. And one of the nice things about Hedra is they do provide free credits for you to use. And uh, if you are using the premium model, then you can use VO, Kling, or Minimax, but we'll stick with the Hedra character. We have our uh, aspect ratio here. We could change that depending on what our needs are. We can change our resolution. The highest resolution currently is 720p. And we also have the duration, which is auto, and that's because it's going to be set to whatever is our uh, our audio input. So here we can put our prompt for our character. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a look at our options here with audio script and start frame. So with audio script, we click on that. You'll see that you have three options here. One is to generate speech. If we click on that, then this is going to show that you can actually type in what you want the character to say. You could choose the voice from here. They have a variety of voices that you can choose from, or you can even create a voice. You can record your own voice or you can upload audio. So that's really, really cool. And we also have the language we can change. So that's going to default to English here. Again, we can type what we want the character to say. Uh, let's head back. You can see here that you can record audio as well. So if we click on that, then we can record our own voice and that is going to show up in the lip sync for the character. Um, finally, we can upload audio. And so that's what I did for our example here. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. But with that example, I recorded, I uh, uploaded some music, some lyrics. And then from here where it says start frame, this is where you're going to either create an image, which is essentially just coming back to our image section here. So you can create an image, you can capture an image with your webcam. So if you want to just take a quick picture of yourself, then you can do lip sync that way, or you can upload an image. So I went ahead and I uploaded an image and I uploaded the audio. And then from there, the prompt that I added was a woman singing and uh, just kind of keeping it pretty simple in that regard. But if you want to be a little bit more detailed, you can say something like a woman singing passionately, a woman singing uh, in pain, a woman singing joyfully, something along those lines. And we'll take a look over here to see what the results are. So we'll go ahead and click on this. So there you go. You could see for yourself what the results are, and they're really quite spectacular. One of the things that's really nice about Hydra is that it does offer a lot of emotion in the performance. Some of the other lip sync generators that are out there, they might be a little bit... Uh, a little bit stale, a little bit cold, a little bit unemotional, but with Hydra, you really do get a lot of emotion in the performance, as you can see there, maybe a little bit too much, but it's really quite nice, really quite dynamic, and there's so much there that you can play with. Now, one of the things that's important to, sh to, to, to point out is that with Hydra, and in general, when it comes to lip sync, you do want to make sure that your character is centered quite well. If your character is not in the center, it's not a clear shot of them, then the lip sync might not turn out so well. So that's one of the reasons why 
I used this, uh, let's close that out, there we go. That's why I use this image here because it's a nice clear picture of our singer and you can see there what the results are for yourself. So that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe and don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree and there you'll find our top AI tool recommendations. Click on those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well and we would greatly appreciate it.